can see, we are going to be doing a mascara review, and I've used this mascara psh, quite a few times now, so I feel like I know this mascara very well. And this one is comparable, or is the other version of the unique, the original 3D, and this is their brand new formula. It's the Moodstruck 3D Fiber Lashes Plus Fortified with Uplift, which you guys, I, this, if you have used the original formula, this one is so, so, so much better. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to apply the foundation and I think I'll either talk during, while I do it, or I will voice over it. We'll just see which comes naturally. But the first thing that I do is I, of course, curl my lashes and I just use my Shiseido eyelash curler. This works really, really great if you have really, really straight eyelashes. And I just take it and curl it like that. This does uh, make them stick straight up, but it just works for my lash type. And as you guys can see, I don't have lashes. I mean, I do have them, but they're almost non-existent and they uh, face downwards. I do, I curl them first. And this is a totally unnecessary step, but I just find that it makes the mascara process much better. And if you have lashes that tend to not want to stay curled, I use a waterproof formula, and the one that I am using currently is the CoverGirl uh, Full Lash Bloom. This has been one of my favorite mascaras since I've used it, and it's like out now. I need to get another one. And I just put one layer of normal or waterproof mascara on my lashes first. I, again, I have to do the waterproof mascara first because if I didn't, the formula of this mascara would weigh them down and just make this mascara um, go downwards. It wouldn't work. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm putting the first coat of mascara on, which is just one thin layer of whatever mascara you're using. And there we go. I got mascara on my hair. Then we take the best mascara ever. I My friend Lindsay used it for the first time this weekend and she was obsessed with it. And if you are familiar with the original formula, it's the same thing. You do the transplanting, then the microfiber, and then the transplanting again to seal it. So I like going in with one eye at a time. So we're going to do this right eye, then I will show you the difference. And I just put, you know, a thin coat on all of my lashes, just like so. Just like that. Do the transplanting. And then this is the microfibers, the little hair-like things. And then you just brush it on there. And as you can see, it, it just like immediately goes on there. The difference between this and the original is this one, the fibers just stick on so much better and like way more extreme. It makes them thicker. If you don't like a little bit of a clumpy lash, and you're gonna hate this stuff. But if you're someone like me, look at that, look at that, you guys. That is so much better than the original formula. I mean, that is just so much better. And I know a ton of you cannot stand this kind of lash. And then this is a transplanting to lock those um, microfibers in. Now I get those people who are like, that is a clumpy ass mess. Why would I want that on my eye? Um, if you have zero lashes like me, if you are someone who is just not blessed with lashes, this mascara will be your best friend. I mean, look at the difference in that. That was just one transplanting. Now you can keep, you can get carried away with this and you could let this dry and even do another coat. <clears throat> but um, the, the way that I found is just one layer when you work slowly, do it nicely, it works the best. And look, I just think that's so amazing. Now imagine if you have long, beautiful lashes. You already see how weak my lashes are. Look how much fuller and more beautiful that made my lashes. Oh, I'm seriously obsessed with this stuff. So I will show you the other eye. And now I don't have any problems with this uh, falling out underneath my eye area, but I think that might be because uh, some people may forget to seal the tran or to seal the microfibers. And if you find that you have that problem still, put a, a layer of your waterproof mascara or whatever mascara you have on top of uh, the microfibers after you have sealed them with the transplanting. And this is the transplanting that I'm doing. Look at that. 
That is just insane to me. It just makes them look so much thicker and longer. And if you're like me, who's not blessed with lashes, then you will take the clump. <laughs> and if you learn how to use this and are slow with it, you can avoid the clumping. I'm just obsessed with this mascara. And this is a transplanting, just locking in those fibers. Look, look at that. I'm obsessed. I wanted to make this review really short and sweet. I hope that this was helpful. Um, those are my tips for it. Apply your first round of mascara first and then work with one eye at a time. Transplanting gel, microfibers, and then seal it with the transplanting gel. If you find that you have follow, apply one more layer of your waterproof mascara, whatever mascara you use to seal those in. And I know what you're thinking, that's a lot of damn product on your eyes. And it is, but you know what? It's better than falsies on the daily. But yeah. That is it. I 100% recommend this uh, this one over the original Unique 3D. They are very similar, but this one, the fibers just apply so much better. I'm not sure what the difference is because it's the same concept with the other one. You have to do the transplanting and then this, but this just works so much better. The fibers just go on there way more intense and you don't have to um, work it in there as hard as you do the original. But I will have these, uh, where I got the actual um, mascara down below and I hope you guys found this helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you.